Welcome my friends to this, this grand and intoxicating experience where I, the Irish Board, will show you the greatest, most powerful, most extravagant, for Christ's sake, the best shield in Skyrim, the one from all your dreams. Did I click you into watching this? Absolutely. Was the content promise delivered? Absolutely. Do you get a crisp Irish voice? Absolutely. Behold, drum roll please. Oriel Shield. Yes, I interrupted the SpongeBob Zoom, but feast your pretty eyes on this marvelous item. The greatest shield in Skyrim next to Spellbreaker, of course. Look at its glow, its fine craftsmanship. It is superb. Only true sons and daughters of Skyrim like straight up Irish videos, like the fine warriors they are. So do it. You want more videos, right? Damn straight. I thought so. Don't make me get my eek back on that flute. So this shield can be found in the Forgotten Vale in Dawnguard. You know, the last bastion of the Snow Elves? Only recently have I found this shield for the first time and by god is it beautiful. Like it is one particle effect in Skyrim I have to give credit for. So within the Forgotten Vale, within the Forgotten Vale forest, this shield can be found carried by a Falmer Warmonger. To get into this subsection of the Forgotten Vale you are going to want to place the Ruby Paragon on the Paragon on platform. It is an unmarked location so you gotta do a bit of exploring and thinking to get to it. In case you don't know you can find a ruby paragon item on one of the frost trolls within the veil. Once placed on the platform a portal will open allowing you to travel to this subsection where you can then locate the particular falmer and slay him. And you guessed it take the shield. Once you get the shield, head back on out, find a secluded location somewhere in Whiterun, find the spawn code for bandits, spawn in 10 of them, and watch the magic fl- Oh, wait, you don't know how to use it? You don't know how it works, you say? Well, let me show you, my friends. Both me and my eek have a shield each in this presentation to show you. So other than the shield having a stupidly high armor rating, no matter what level you are, and the value being over the top, the main thing with this shield is that it works exactly like Fus Roda. Taking five hits from enemies grants one charge in the shield, which is the equivalent of Fus. Taking ten hits from enemies grants two charges in the shield, which is the equivalent of Ro and taking 15 hits from enemies grants 3 charges in the shield, which is the equivalent of Da. You will know it's charged when you hear the appropriate sound effect and the shield glows back up again. When all is collected, power bash with the shield and watch your enemies fly. If I was to modify the shield, I would make it so less hits equal 1 charge, maybe. 2 or 3 hits instead of 5. 5 is too long, and Spellbreaker kind of trumps it, so therefore, this really isn't actually the best shield. Damn, I came into this with high expectations. I think I will stick with Sugar Crush. This shield likes to haunt my dreams. Also, when you hang up Oriel's shield, it glows. How cool is that? All this for a shield. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to leave any suggestions, likes, shares and all that stuff if you feel I deserve it. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.